Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I don't even know if I'm going to be using this as the intro, but I basically just wanted to give you guys an update. So we are currently on our way to the hospital to get checked. Um, so I woke up this morning at around like 5 a.m. and I sat up out of bed and I um, had like a gush of fluid. So I called my doctor and she said that she wants to see and just make sure that it's not amniotic fluid and if it is then we're gonna have this baby today or as soon as possible so I'm a little bit like in shock um, I'm 37 weeks as of yesterday so I'm this is 21 days before my due date and I'm like oh my gosh that is insane I just didn't expect any of this which labor is so unpredictable so you just never know um, so I have so many mixed emotions right now I'm like so excited and I'm getting all emotional Yeah, I just have all the emotions right now, leaving Skye at home, and she's in great hands. My mother-in-law is watching her. Um, but yeah, I just like know that my heart is just going to double in size when I see this baby. And like, I'm just a little sad that Skye won't be our only baby, but it just sounds so stupid. <laughs> um, and we, I just don't want her ever to feel like neglected. So, um, but then again, I'm so, so so excited to see this little this other little girl's face and just I know that I'm already so in love with her and I haven't even met her yet so I'm just um, interested to see once what's what's gonna be said and what's gonna be found out here in the next couple minutes uh, also um, Damar is actually inside of Starbucks right now I haven't eaten anything yet and I know that if we get admitted to the hospital that they won't let me eat so I feel a little nauseous right now, um, but I'm gonna try to eat and see if that'll help, help me feel better. Um, but we'll see. You guys will see Damar here in a little bit. My contractions, I'm having some, but it's nothing crazy, I feel like. So, um, they have me on intermittent mo moder moderate? Intermediate moderate. And, or yeah. Like that. I so, it's like an, an hour off, 20 minutes on, and then yeah. if things don't start picking up here soon, then It'll they're thinking of the Yeah. So, yeah. Put your fingers crossed that. That things pick up naturally. Yeah. But either way, we just want a healthy baby. This is her, oh, I'm gonna. And Katie's sitting, she's Katie. gonna help film everything. Yeah. Yeah. This is your first live birth, isn't it? I'm so excited. I've always been the one that's like giving birth, so. Yeah, pretty good. Go team! Go team. Just got checked, and I'm still the same 3 centimeters, 70 per centimeter face, so. And it's 517 um, now, so it's been probably, what, five hours? No, it's been a well, longer. You got my, checked they broke my water at like one. Yeah. Like they so. broke, broke my water at one. So. so it's been about four hours. But I didn't really start contractions though until like That's even two hours. hours. Yeah. Even two hours after they broke my water fully. So you've been contracting for probably like what, two hours then? Yeah. Three hours? Still about the same effacement, but four centimeters. Yeah, four centimeters now. But she did feel some hair, which is a good sign. Yes. So um, they're gonna get her started on some pitocin to try to just give her a little nudge and get her body kind of going in that direction. And then, yeah, hopefully, you know, before we know it, they will be here. Maria's been handling everything like a champ. Mm -hmm. Still not epidural. She's doing great. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just here supporting her mm -hmm. in any way we can. And 
trying to be patient and awake through this process. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow and I were just doing some jumping jacks. Yeah, some calisthenics. <laughs> you give an update. Yeah, so I, did we not say? Uh, I think the last update we said that you were still four. That I was four. Yes. Yeah. So we haven't been checked yet again. It's we'll be 10, getting 35. checked in about an hour. I'll check me again. Mm -hmm. so. And they start your oxytocin. Yes, that is something we didn't. So, yeah, we sorry. decided to do it. And they started it at a two, or a dosage of two, and it definitely got things moving initially, and then it kind of tapered off again, so they bumped it up to a four now. So, but so far it's been seeming to be working. Mm -hmm. I guess. Progressing. Hopefully we'll have some really good news when we check some checks. I know. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Baby's doing good. So yeah. yeah just How are we feeling? feeling? I'm feeling better. I think I got a second wind. Yeah, the bar's getting kind of sleepy. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was getting super tired there for a second, but yeah, I'm feeling, feeling pretty good too. Yeah, Maria yeah. was feeling a little bit discouraged there for a little bit. Yeah, I was. I really was just hoping that I'd progress on my own, that we wouldn't have to have pitocin. But whatever can get this baby out as fast as possible. I know. I'm all for it at this yeah. point. Mm -hmm. So. And higher spirits now. Yes. It's done. Like I feel like the anticipation was what was right scaring me, but now that it's going, it's like it's not too bad. Yeah. I just have to say, she's an absolute like champion. I know. At right? this, like, you, she we was, don't even know when she starts a contraction because she yeah, was just yeah. so quiet. She just goes into her little world and champions through. But I knew even if they started her on Pitocin, she'd be fine. Like, mm -hmm. You take everything so well. You have such a good like mental state that oh, you're able so to So far, so good. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's yeah, going right. to continue. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha
Thank <laughs> you.